Hi, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I hope to show you how Event Gallery can help grow your photo booth or event photography business. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just getting started out, there's a solution for you with the Event Gallery. In the description below, you can fast forward by clicking on the topic that specifically applies to you. Be sure to check out the end where you see how you can sign up and get a free 30 day trial. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm logged into my event gallery account. I'm gonna go ahead and click on new gallery. We'll call it demo and set the date for today. And right here, we're gonna skip over a little bit of this. This allows you to customize and uh, kind of hide some things so your customers are looking specifically at their images and not everybody else's images. Uh, you can password protect, but um, there's a video that I have and I'll have a link in the description that goes a little bit more in depth into the options here. Uh, but for right now, we're just gonna keep it uh, uh, simple. So I don't need to save the password. I'm gonna click add images. And I have some pictures of my kids and I'm gonna just drag those in and drop them right there and you can see it's uploading so these images might be ones that you captured with your your camera at let's say a wedding or your photo booth software captured it and you have some images and they're just saved as JPEGs this would be that scenario we also have options that are a little bit more automated and I will show you that in just a moment And we're uploading, that was just 17 images, but here they go. And we'll click complete and publish. And there are the images. Now um, I'm in the admin side. There is a client side or a client site those are the images that I just uploaded right there available to click on and share via Facebook Twitter so you would have maybe a QR code that uh, somebody can scan let's say you're at an event and these are automatically uploading that somebody can scan it takes them to the gallery and then they share it from their actual phone rather than using your computer so let's get into a little bit more automated method okay so next scenario is you're using a iPad software that doesn't have event gallery built in. So one thing you can do is you can use darkroom hot folder and darkroom hot folder goes for about $95 uh, US for windows. And you can output from that iPad or really whatever to this folder and it'll automatically upload. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go into darkroom hot folder. I have it running. It always runs in the background which is kind of nice and the settings I have a, a folder that it's monitoring and it's going to automatically upload to a gallery called demo 2 set for today so one other nice thing about darkroom hot folder and its original intention was to offer a printing solution for people using iPads because it's kind of difficult printing directly from an iPad so you can use Dropbox or OneDrive to share that image and then it automatically prints and uploads to event gallery so we'll go ahead and click OK this is the folder that uh, darkroom hot folder is monitoring and I'm gonna just drag an image in and one thing you'll notice is it automatically just disappears as soon as the image is dropped in. And what's happening is it is processing that image, uploading it to Event Gallery, and it all happens in real time. So now if we go back to our Event Gallery site, and this is the client end, I'm gonna click refresh. There's demo number two, and those are the images that I just uploaded. So that's a more automated way of uploading to Event Gallery. An even better option. Oh, before we move on to the next uh, thing, I like shooting with a wireless camera and that gives me an option to automatically send to a folder on my computer. So I could be a roaming photographer and it's automatically 
processing those images and uploading to event gallery and I'm just going around shooting it at a wedding those photographs are then automatically available and on let's say the uh, the tables at the wedding at the reception you can have little table tents with a little QR code that somebody can scan and after you take the picture you can say the pictures are already available by scanning that code so it's kind of a cool concept and you can do a lot with uh, darkroom hot folder even though it's such a simple application we're gonna move on to the next more automated way and that is with darkroom booth so if you're an existing user of darkroom booth it's our photo booth application and you can capture photos and I'm gonna click post to event gallery we're gonna call this one demo uh, we'll, we'll call it booth you guys all thought I was gonna go with demo 3 right so we're gonna use darkroom uh, demo booth so we know that this is coming from darkroom booth and this is kind of cool we can change the picture that we're uploading so we might be printing two by six strips but from booth we're actually uploading something that's a little bit more um, social media friendly so maybe like a square image or uh, something not so long but you can see more people more of the people's faces even better you can even use the gif option or gif option and upload an animated gif to uh, event gallery so it does support jpegs gifs and mp4s so for right now we're gonna just have it upload uh, we're gonna go with a, a, a photo strip let's choose something uh, just a little bit different we'll use this one so it goes a little bit quicker and we're gonna start the booth I believe it's gonna take three images And if you're not familiar with Darkroom Booth, that's an application that goes for $2.95 US and it's for Windows. So it's processing and we're not printing, but typically you would hear a printer start kicking in and printing out uh, our 2x6. But now what we're going to do is one more time, switch back over to Event Gallery and you can see there's Demo Booth, which we just uploaded. And the final application I'm going to show you is going to be Darkroom Core. And this would work the same for Darkroom Assembly and Darkroom Pro. And I'm just checking to make sure I am logged in. Okay. And I'm going to create a package that uploads to Event Gallery. So add package, and we'll just call it Event Gallery. We'll make it a quick print. And what that means is, it's, as soon as the, uh, the package is placed or the order is placed, it's going to automatically print. Uh, we don't even have to place the order; we just order the package. Uh, I'll show you in just a second. So there's our Event Gallery post. We're going to double click on it. I'm going to call it uh, Demo Core, set it for today's date. And the reason why I keep setting it for today's date, um, you can leave that unchecked. And every time you upload, let's say uh, we capture images tomorrow, it'll create a new, a new gallery. So if you want to always go to the same gallery, just have that date checked. Otherwise, it'll create a new gallery for every date. It works well for uh, depending on what type of photography, what type of uh, photo booth you're running. But uh, those are two different options. That is the reason why I keep checking that. Okay, and we'll make sure it's full size. And we're going to click back on our photo library. And um, these are some images we took recently at 4th of July. Actually with Darkroom Core. 
um, let's select those and we'll just click on event gallery and you can see it's already uploading you can also do it one by one um, and those images are all uploading and we can double check that by once again going to our client site and clicking on uh, this to refresh and there's our core and they're uploading as we speak um, so one more small piece of automation within core core works very well as a tethered camera software so meaning that you have a camera tethered to the computer and you capture images and it will automatically upload now I'm not a real big fan of wires and I'll show you another way around that but I want to show you just the basics so we have our tethered camera and we can set auto print and have it automatically and you can see that I actually have uh, from a previous event it printed a 4x6 and automatically uploaded to event gallery and that would be this event right here you can see it automatically applied a template which is also pretty cool that as soon as the image is captured it applies template prints it and the template that was printed was actually different than the template that was um, uploaded and the reason for that if you look real closely right there you can see a little square let's look at that template has a QR code so the print you can scan the print and it took you to event gallery and I have a video on how to do that setup as well and I'll add that in the description I'll try to add as many videos related to what we went over in a little bit more depth into the description and I said one more thing that I would show you a way around using uh, a wire to tether your camera if your camera has wireless built in you can use the hot folder camera and you can see I'm monitoring a folder as soon as the image is dropped in it's in processing those images just like darkroom hot folder but in this situation we can we have a little bit more control on what's processed the templates we can build templates add them on have them automatically processed so that's darkroom core same in darkroom pro and assembly um, so Hopefully, this is not too much information. If it was, skip to the part that's specific to you so you're not overwhelmed with information that does not pertain to you. But uh, once you've got that, then rewatch it so you can see how you can expand your photo booth business maybe into event photography or vice versa. Okay, so now that we know how to upload, let's look at some of the design and customization options within the event gallery. I have this gallery right here and you can see it has my normal logo here it says penny cam and it has the images uploaded from that uh, gallery with all the default settings let's see if we can make that uh, match the branding and the theme of the event just a little bit better so we'll switch back to our admin side and we're gonna click on the little sprocket for that event one thing I'm gonna want to do is update the and I'm gonna kind of jump around um, and disable and enable different options but let's say I wanted to password protect because it had children I could uh, then turn on password protection and then type in a password and let's say I also didn't want people to exit out of that gallery and go into other galleries I can hide the breadcrumbs and what the breadcrumbs are, are is it right here this option right here so I can click home it still doesn't disable this option right here but let's go ahead and disable the breadcrumbs um, we're gonna disable display gallery in the home page and well, actually we're gonna leave that turned on because it's password protected so we're fine um, next thing we're gonna want to do is do a little bit of branding I have a logo 
that I'm going to use. It's on my desktop. Um, so we'll go ahead and dra drag in the penny cam logo. Oh, it looks like it might be a little bit large. We'll test it out and see. So now when we refresh, We don't need to save it. So now we have that penny cam logo. Um, if we click on it, it still takes us back to the home page. So we'll want to go back right here and um, let's see under microsite, custom logo link. What we'll do is take that link. So automatically, whenever you click here, it refreshes to the correct page let's say we want to change that background color to let's say that color right there and we'll save it and see as we're getting just a little bit closer So that's uh, some of the design that you can do. Yep. Looks like it's still refreshing. Uh, but that's some of the design aspects that you can do from branding within um, Event Gallery. And it's a good idea to just kind of play around with these settings on a test event so you can learn and see how each one of them works. Um, we have our options to enable and disable uh, different share options. So if you didn't want um, images to go to a certain give a certain option. Now for SMS, you'll have to enable Twilio and things like that. And we have guides for each one of those. Um, the download is specifically to download the whole site. You would typically share this with the event host, the one person that would download it at the end of the event. Um, and then embed codes allow, allows you to embed it in a web page. So rather than send them to eventgallery.com, you can send them to a specific web page. Um, that where the gallery is embedded so that's some of the design that you have in event gallery and that's specific for each gallery so each gallery can have its own theme and branding um, and then you have a little bit of setup right here for the master overall for the whole event um, so if you wanted to update your gallery logo and just have it always be your uh, logo this is the one that's uh, applied to every gallery by default it's a good idea to play around um, next thing we'll get into is how do you sign up for a free 30-day trial so I'm gonna go ahead and log out of my account and I'm going to go to event eventgallery.com and it'll redirect to a darkroom page and then you just click right here sign up for a free trial fill out some information um, your uh, subdomain is going to be um, it, it might be eugene at eventgallery.com typically that's going to be your company name and then it'll be dot eventgallery.com not at but dot eventgallery.com so you don't want to make that too long of a name because it's uh, going to be a prefix to dot eventgallery.com I appreciate your time thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time thanks again for watching if there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video, I'll let you know. Here's some other videos you might like. But most importantly, thanks for being a customer. I'll see you next time.